fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trimmed with white, and officially weighing 126 pounds. His professional record, 24 victories, including six knockouts against four defeats with one draw. He comes to us from the Mount Vernon neighborhood of San Bernardino, California. He's the current USBA featherweight champion, the challenger, Fernando Bobby Boy Velarde. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with silver, also weighing 126 pounds. His professional record, 43 victories, including 32 knockouts with only one defeat. Thomas y Caballeros de la Zona Norte, Tijuana, Mexico, the three-time world champion and reigning, defending WBC featherweight Champion of the world, Eric El Terrible Morales. This one. Okay, gentlemen, trunks are high here. So any punch thrown in this area is okay. Trunks are high here, any punch thrown in this area is okay. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I'm gonna caution you to keep the fight clean at all times and protect yourself at all times. And remember, what I say, you must obey. Good luck, Venezuela. This could be the last time we see an outstanding featherweight fight in that class. But Morales is only 26 years old and has some big fights in front of him. What a record. 43 wins, one loss, 32 KOs. Going against Fernando Bobby Boy Velardes, who has a tendency to get hit and has light power only. Only six knockouts among his 24 wins. So Velardes comes out of the grin, out of the corner. Fighting aggressively, throwing his jab and stepping forward behind it as he tries to seize the initiative early against Eric Morales. Morales is, is an outstanding boxer with all kind of skills, jabs, right hand. It makes easy fights hard. You can always count on him making a fight hard for himself. He do doesn't you, have to at all. Why do you think he does that, George? I don't know. There's a lot of skill to boxing, and believe me, he's got the skill. Does he fight down to his opponents? Is that what you're saying? No, it's just that he decides, look, I don't care about the rules. I'm going to break them. I'm going to mix it up. You knock me down, I'm going to get cut. I'm going to get bruised. Doesn't need that. He can jab and win this fight with a left hand if he chooses to. For some reason, he's going to make a fight hard. Do you think he suspects that this is the style of fighting that will be appreciated in his self-consciously rough home section of Zona Norte in Tijuana? Uh, just something that I, I don't know what it is. It's just something inside of him. He I'm certain the Lardis down the middle with a left and a right hand over the top. Morales, who looked almost bored during the pre-fight instructions from the referee, looking at the canvas, making no contact eye contact with Velardis at all seemed to be a little bit lackadaisical the first 30 seconds of the fight now he's stepping up and trading with Velardis and Velardis still willing to seize the initiative and go forward and throw the jab and throw combinations of punches behind it he's, he's got all the skills but he'll find himself against the ropes taking unnecessary punch, punches to his body to his head Oh, there's a big right hand feint by Morales, and he clocked Velardis with the left. Bobby Boy fell for the feint like a mullet going after a piece of bread. <laughs> Bobby Boy reaches in, gets one shot to the body. And I think a right hand is, uh, hurt Velardis. Velardis momentarily in close. Don't hold him, don't hold him. Let him up. A little bit of a scrape on Morales' nose. Well, a 
mentioned Morales is in different performance against Goody Espada. Same thing against a Korean fighter named Injun T. When he fought on a Roy Jones undercard. Here, he knocks Bellardis down in the first round with a hard left hand. And the bell will sound to end the round as soon as Kenny, as soon as Kenny Bayless is finished with this count. That's, that saved the round for Morales because he was losing it up until that punch. Give me the bag, give me the bag. Come on, baby, come on. Very tight, Listen. Breathe, baby, breathe, breathe. Look, listen to me. Hands up to him. What you're doing is you let him do what he wants. You're on the outside. I told you his power's on the outside. Side to side movement. Breathe in, Jake. Breathe as you can. Hey, he got all burnt out for losing Breathe. the weight. Breathe. Catch your breath. Bravo. Listen to me. Breathe, baby. Come on. Left uppercut right. Move, slip and jab, and right hand over jab, and uppercut, right hand hook. Don't stay there. Breathe. I mean, he's good. It looked as though Morales knew that something was going to work before the round, and there you saw it a long left hook with a couple of seconds left. Fortune. In the round, by CompuBox numbers, Velardis had thrown 97 punches. He landed 35 of the 97. Meanwhile, Morales only threw 53 punches in the round. But as Larry pointed out, Morales wins the round on the basis of the knockdown at the end. The size differential between these two fighters is not nearly what it was in the first fight, but Morales coming into the fight is actually at the welterweight weight, 141, up from 126, which he uh, needed a couple of extra hours to make yesterday. What a bunch of op uh, offensive opportunities should be here for Morales, George Foreman, as it seems to me that Velardis throws long punches slowly and tends to leave his hands there after he throws them. Well, he's everything that should open up Make Morales open up his arsenal now. Right hands have hurt the Lardis, but he fires back. He's got everything to make him look good tonight, but yet this guy is standing there with him. Activity from Velardis. Morales kind of watches and now grinning because he feels that enormous confidence. Yeah, because he knows Velardis can hit him, but he can't hurt him. So that's the fifth knockdown that Velarez has suffered from the Morales family so far. But he's 1 0 against the Morales so far. <laughs> Good body, right hand to the body by Morales. Talk about a guy who chronically fights up or down to the level of the opponent. Morales looked so sharp, so definitive, so precise in his movements against Pauli Ayala in December. Here he's trading wild shots with a wild slugger who has no power. Well, there's something exciting about not knowing what you're going to get from Morales in any particular fight. Work out, work out, work out. what happened is that he has to get into a fight to really fight. He just can't seem to use his superior skills. It has to be a fight. Nothing wrong with that, George. Oh, that's a hard right hand. Hardest punch of the fight landed by Morales, and Velardis held on. Eric is just looking to target the right hand again. Digging left hooks the body. There's another right hand over the top by Morales. Velardis is hurt again. Morales attacks him along the ropes. Morales almost... Uh, Velarde's almost went down again. Hey! Official clock, we're started, was told, was, or we're told, we started 10 seconds early, so that round only lasted 2.52. Keep your distance. Breathe deep, breathe deep. You gotta finish him. Finish him. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stay, don't stay so close because he's rough there. Come on, it, this, you gotta be intelligent. Instead of being strong, make intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. Once you hit him, he doesn't know what to do. If you're gonna be too aggressive, you gotta use your quickness. Do you hear me? Give me some water. Get a good rest. Look, 
Right hand left uppercut, jab by hook right. One, two, palm inertia, don't protect this muscle. You hit him back. No, I put him snap behind those punches. <laughs> jab. Round three begins. One knockdown so far in the fight. Eric Morales knocking Bobby Pilardis down toward the end of the first round. Seemed to hurt him twice in the second round with right hands. Pilardis is still coming in here and throwing punches as the aggressor. Good left jab. jab. Morales has got a, the, probably the superior jab in the whole weight class, in his weight class. Doesn't like to use it. Hard right hand to the body by Morales. Lardis slightly wobbly again as Morales tries to strafe him with right hands. Yeah, Morales him on the chin. Morales just seems to be breaking him down right here. This may be a job for the corner when they decide when do I throw in the towel here. Well, and of course, his trainer and cut man is his father. Armando uh -oh. Pilardis Sr. That means we won't see a towel. That's right. Or at least that's usually the case. Because he's taking a body beating and he's finishing up with a left jab, Morales is. And so not much this fellow will be able to do. He's going to get weaker for the long haul and he's going to get bust up, busted up with the jab. Pilardis lands a little right hand, but Pilardis' punches are relatively soft. Oh, I'm not, I'm Morales ducks, slips, most of them. When Velardis lands, it's usually at the end of a long trajectory. And the longer your hands spend on the path of the punch, the more they slow down. Dance move by Velardis, not a knockdown. Hard right hand again by Morales across the top. Velardis is stunned again. Bobby Velardis is nothing if not game. Rough, sloppy fight. Eric Morales hitting Bobby Velardis over and over with right crosses. And let's listen to referee Vic Draculich with Oscar De La Hoya. Very important. If the opponent, your opponent goes down on the knee, you're helpless in the ropes, don't take that last punch. Because if you do, and I deem it to be a late punch, it'll still be considered as a knockdown. But instead of only getting 10 seconds to recover from that knockdown, I'm going to call time. I'm going to make a determination if he can continue. If he can, I'm going to take one or two points from you. And if he can't, I'm in all likelihood going to disqualify you as a result of that late blow. So if he goes down, stop, get back to that neutral corner. Things I'll be watching for is that grab a punches, kitty punches, low blows, use of the elbows and shoulders. Just want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions? Good luck to you in there. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Ah, that means someone has been telling them to look out for Oscar's elbows and shoulders. I don't like well, that. What about the late hit part? I mean, Oscar doesn't have a, hit or a history of hitting people late. Yeah, maybe just to throw that in so he could warn him about the elbow, the elbow 